Welcome, everyone. We are back with another edition of Mute Me, our favorite debate show here on ESPN Crick Info. I'm Alexis Nunez, and joining me, I've got a brilliant panel, as per usual. Kartik, Vishal, and Shresh are joining us. They're absolutely itching to get into some arguments because here is where we argue over some of the most controversial topics that have to do with this season's IPL. So here are the rules. Each guy will have an argument to present. They'll have 60 seconds within which to present that argument. However, after 15 seconds, if the other two panelists are not buying what they're saying, they can hold up their mute sign. And if they've been muted not once, but twice, just like Kartik just did, then they've got to shut up or we will make them shut up. I also have my own mute me sign and it is a golden mute. I can only use it once, but I can even mute you from one second in if I'm just not even buying your opening statement because I'm the boss. But I can only use it once for the show so all the guys can breathe a sigh of relief. So since Kartik's got the biggest smile on deck today, he looks itching to go even though we don't like it when you play nice. Let's start with you, Kartik. So my first argument today is that Ravi Chandran Ashwin should play T20Is for India again. Okay, it's been more than three years since R. Ashwin played T20 International. He played it back in 2017 in the West Indies, I think. That's three years ago. That in itself is a shame. I mean, I know you want to try Axar. Team India found, they found an awesome combination in Kuldeep, in Chahel, culture. But now the time has come to bring back one of the most smartest, one of the most wiliest, the most willing and one of the most skillful spinners India has produced over the last decade. It probably doesn't give an indi- Kartik was going so well. I was, I got my pom poms out. I was rooting for you, but they didn't even want you to go past thirty seconds. Vishal, you held yours up first. Why weren't you buying that argument? Yeah, you know when Ashwin was first dropped from the team, I was kind of on the fence at that time. But like Kartik only said, usually the Chahil and Kuldeep had been doing really well for India. Now Kuldeep not as uh, not as great of late, but you also have Washington Sundar. If you've seen him bowl in the IPL, he's a great bowler. He just doesn't give away boundaries. Even in Sharjah, he just gave 20 odd runs the other night. And there's there's no way Ashwin can come in ahead of him. Also, because Ashwin is a decent batsman, so is Washington Sundar. Sundar also, I think, is a bit of fielder than Ashwin. So where will you fit him? Trish? Yeah, I, I kind of understand where Karthik is coming from. But uh, to be honest with you, uh, Ashwin is just not attacking enough as a spinner. Uh, to, to merit a side in the India 11. Uh, of course, there's Kuldeep and there's Chahel, but there's so many others who are way more attacking than him. Uh, Rahul Chahel, uh, Ravi Bishnoi, uh, the, the list goes on, honestly, Aksar Patel. So, uh, his time is gone. Uh, he's not. He's simply not attacking enough. And uh, T- T20 I cricket is uh, different from the IPL. And the IPL, you sometimes get some easy dismissals. But in T20 I cricket, the opposition is of a different class and uh, Ashwin will get caught out there. Let's move on now to our next man, and it is none other than Fischer. Why not? Fischer, what is your argument? My argument is that Andre Russell is the most underrated death bowler in this IPL. Everybody talks about his batting and he hasn't been scoring as much. But there's a reason why I'm saying this. He's been bowling the 18th and 20th Mm. overs consistently for KKR. And Brendan McCullum, their coach, must have seen something in him even back in the CPL, which ended just before the IPL. Andre Russell, why does he do well in the death overs? He has those yorkers, he has the bouncers, he has the slow bouncers, he has those variations, and he has been bowling those two overs, 18th and 20th, in almost every match for KKR, except, I think, against Kings Eleven when he got injured while fielding. The other reason is Sunil Narain is, might be missing a few more matches for KKR. His action got called. That puts even more responsibility on Andre Russell. Also, because... Uh, He's just the best. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. I love that. Oh, Strange came in at the last minute. Kartik didn't even want to wait for the 15 seconds. I am shooketh. Why weren't you buying that? I have a feeling Vishal cheated. Here because I know for a fact that Shresh thinks the same thing that Andre Russell is bowling some excellent death bowling in the IPL. So I think he's chosen this topic knowing that he will not be muted by Shresh. It's all the mind games. Yeah. <laughs> So is that the only reason why you muted him? Not because yeah, yeah, I, I, I completely agree with what Vishal said. I mean, he's bowled really, really well in in the death overs as well. Maybe not the best, but I wouldn't have held my mute sign up immediately without listening to his argument if I didn't think that he was trying to play a tactical game here on mute me. 
Trace, you came in at the very last minute with a mute. Why weren't you buying it if you actually do agree that Dre Russ is a bit underrated? I, I was just excusing Vishal of the extra time which was left, but I think he made his point quite well. Uh, but uh, to be honest with you, underrated does not mean the best. Uh, it just yeah. means that he doesn't get enough credit. And, and I, I'm sure we can give Russell that, that crown that he's underrated as the death bowler. Well done, Vishal. Love that. Love that argument. Suresh, you are up next. What's your argument? Okay, my topic is that uh, Royal Challenger Bangalore's uh, Dave Dutt Padikal will win the IPL Emerging Player of the Year award this season. And the reason for that is definitely his form. Um, okay, so let's see what you need to do to be an eligible for the, for the award. And that is you have to play less than 20 ODIs and less than five tests. And you also have to be under 25. And there are a few contenders on that list. There's uh, Shubman Gill actually forms in that list as well. But when you see Dev Dutt Padikal this year, his form has been excellent. Uh, he's often seen like the senior batsman in front of Aaron Finch, who, who, which is not an easy thing to do. And to be honest with you, uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore would not be in the top half of the points table after seven games if it wasn't for the starts he was giving. Remember, Virat Kohli was failing in his first three or four games. Uh, AB de Villiers has not been that good when they've been batting second. And Dave the Padikal has really been the man who has really changed their fortunes. If it wasn't for him, imagine if, if Partif Patel was batting uh, in RCB, uh, the, the, their fortunes might have been different. And therefore, I firmly believe that DDP, as a commentators like to call him, would be the emerging player this season. All right. Well, Kartik is so trigger happy today. I have no idea why. So let's find out what were you buying there? Because even when Suresh made his opening statement, I saw everybody nodding. He makes he makes a fair argument there, and the moment he mentioned Shubman Gill's name, that that's where you start getting a bit iffy about particular chances. Gill has, Gill has been equally good, but I'm not sure that. I mean, I thought Shresh was undervaluing Finch there to to a large level. I mean, the support that Finch has given Particle up top for RCB. Particle's done fine, but I have a feeling in the latter half of the season, teams are going to start finding him out. Anyways, <clears throat> Kartik, what is your topic? Okay, my topic, my second topic for Mute Me is that the home team, the designated home team in the IPL 2020 should control the music and piped in sound console at the empty stadiums. Now, you know, we know how it's been this season. Empty grounds, piped in sounds and no atmosphere without really there being one at all with no crowds as well. So let's take this a step further. The home team, because they're at home and they should have an advantage, should be given control of the sound console. Say, for example, Mumbai are playing RCB and Kohli is coming into bat. How about the designated Mumbai sound guy pipes in booze at that time rather than, you know, the generic RCB, RCB or ABD, ABD stuff that we hear usually. Think about this, Vishal, and this one's for you. When the Pandya bros are out in the middle, a little from Gunpat, you know, we are the pies plays across the stadiums in the UAE when the Pandya bros are there. Now, that would be a lovely touch. Imagine when David Warner walks out, opposing captain plays, which is that one, the Billy Ellis song, bad guy. That's born villain material right there in the IPL. Now, this could be the home advantage that all teams have been lacking this season for the rest of the season. Use your sound as a sledge. Use your sound as a sledge. I love that. That should be a hashtag. Brilliant <laughs> argument there. He went through unscathed. Everybody a fan of that? Yeah, I, well, I, I, love, I love me some mental disintegration, to be honest. And uh, <laughs> what, what more than that to... Uh, what more than that to uh, get under the nerves of these players? Uh, a great idea, actually. But I just don't see it honestly happening <laughs> by, by the producers. That's the greatest thing I've heard. I've loved me some mental disintegration. Just not your own, though. Hopefully <laughs> not. Ever. <laughs> Love that one. Let's go to um, Mr. Mental Disintegration himself, then. Shresh, you are up next. What is your argument? <laughs> if I could stop laughing at mental disintegration. <laughs> Okay, my topic is that Mumbai Indians will pay the price one day of not playing Kiran Pollard and Hardik Pandya high above the, the, the batting lineup. Uh, okay, so they're a very good team. They've, they've won six out of the first seven games. They're on cloud nine. But they will pay the price one day uh, when the going gets tough uh, by Ishan Kishan and Surya Kumar Yadav not performing on a particular day when they leave Kiran Pollard and Hardik Pandya too low down the table, uh, the batting lineup. The issue is these guys are not facing enough balls from Mumbai Indians. They have the greatest strike rates. They have the greatest ball for boundary ratio. But what's happening? They're facing 12, 14, 20 balls. And the IPL is all about maximizing your resources. If you have players who can get you more runs, you get them in. You do not leave runs in the tank. That, is no, that has 
absolutely no value in in the in the IPL. And we've seen with guys like Pollard, he does not get out. You might think that he's going at. Oh, with only about seven seconds left, and he was just getting to the poly argument in the deep of it. But Kartik, shock! You muted him first again. Why? <laughs> Alexis, don't fix it if it ain't broken. <laughs> <laughs> As but it is that. slightly broken. It is slightly broken because they're not necessarily dominating now, are they? So, but you you have Surya in form. Quinton's find, finding form at the right time of the tournament. I don't see how you can give the other guys opportunities up top when the guys you have currently are doing pretty well, with the exception, of course, of Rohit Sharma. Fair, Vishal. Yeah, I think a few matches ago I might have agreed with this because, uh, like Karthik said, Quinton de Kock and Surya Kumar were not really scoring as quickly. So, if two or three wickets fall at the 12 over or 13 over mark, Hardik Pandya or Polar is definitely coming out. And I don't see it as an issue at all. The only thing is, if the top order is not scoring as quickly, then maybe they should start hitting out quicker and lose a wicket. There's no harm in that because of the strong middle order. But everything is going fine so far. All right. Well, we will stop things there and move on to Fishal. What is your topic? So my topic is that Delhi Capitals, who have seen uh, three recent injuries in their squad, are going to come out unscathed out of this because they have a really strong squad this time. The first injury was Amit Mishra. I know a big IPL player and he was doing really well. But look at the other spinners in this squad. They have Ashwin, they have Aksar Patel who are doing really well. They have Lamy Chane who has not played a single match so far. Aksar Patel bowls so well in the power play, he gets rid of his 3-4 overs by the 10th or 11th overs. Ashwin, apart from keeping an eye on the non-striker, is also bowling really well with his variations and spinning his web around the batsman. The other injury was Ishan Sharma. He played just one match. A big name, very experienced and all that. But Harshal Patel has come in his place and he's done really well. He's picking those wickets. Don't forget, the pace pack is led by Kagi So Rapada and he's not going anywhere. The third injury is Rishabh Pant. That might concern you. Oh, 10 seconds to go and you couldn't even make your case for Rishabh Pant. Oh, Kartik, shock again, quicker than you, St. Bolt, to a mute sign. Why were you not buying that? Because the, the, the punt argument should have come first. Oh. I was waiting for the punt argument. Like, that is the injury that's probably caused them, cost them even Shimron Hetmeyer in the side. Because that, that's a double whammy for Delhi Capital. So I was expecting Vishal to bring out the punt argument up top, not, not Amit Mishra. So that is why I gave him 30 seconds, but yeah. Suresh? Apart from the fact, and I hope that the producer puts all these pictures side by side, that Vishal Dikshit actually looks like Harshal Patel. Uh, the second thing is that uh, Rishabh Pant actually uh, is the main concern. He's been out there. He's, he's going to be out for a week, uh, maybe a little bit more. And the, the, the hole which he leaves in the lineup might actually uh, force Delhi to crumble. Unskated, I don't know. I think they'll be a little hurt. They might just escape the worst. Uh, and maybe qualify into the playoffs, but it'll definitely it's going to come down uh, to the wire because Pant is just that dynamic guy who they need, and him not being in the team uh, messes the whole team's balance up uh, really poor. Anyway, so time to announce the winner. I just had a little deliberating with my producer, although we have to warn our winner that just like in cricket, how you can get penalized for slow over rates, you can get penalized for fast muting rates but nevertheless he came through Kartik you are our winner for your brilliant argument on what was it let your sound do the sledging love that and you even came with a playlist for players to walk out with absolutely brilliant you can moonlight as the DJ how quick can we get you on a flight to Dubai immediately <laughs> Fair play. Thanks so much to Shresh, to Vishal, and of course to our winner, Kartik. Thanks to all of our viewers for tuning in. We're here all season long for the IPL, so make sure to catch us for more Mute Me right here on ESPN Crick Info.